I'm Martha Marquez, and one of my best Christmas presents this year was this little Turkish spindle that I got, and I've been using it almost nonstop ever since. And I'm going to do a little video here to show you how to use the Turkish spindle. This is a little Turkish spindle. I love this. It's small. You can fit it in a little bag along with some roving and carry it with you everywhere. And even when it's put together, it's not that big. So you take this part and slide it into this part, line up your holes, and then you take this, poke it through the hole so that the bigger part is on the bottom, and this little part is on the top. And then you put on your leader. This is the leader. And it's just any random piece of yarn. It's better to have wool because it's stickier. And it's better to have a yarn that is plied because it gives you two little legs like to catch your fibers in. You just tie a knot in the bottom that has a little loop in it. Now I put the leader over the bottom right here. And you just do this. You it's not a knot really, it's just over your finger. You grab the yarn, goes over your finger and on to the top. Catches in that little dent right there. And there you go. And just like with all spindles, looking down on the spindle, you want to spin it clockwise for spinning and counterclockwise for plying. So I'm going to put some twist in this so we'll grab the yarn. it between your fingers here at the top. Now this is the roving that I'm using. And you just draft that out a little bit. And let it twist around the leader, which should already have a little twist in it. spinning it clockwise as I'm looking down at it from the top. And then once you can feel it grab, and you'll be able to feel it grab because there'll be like energy and twist up in your pinched fingers on your left hand at the top. Once you've got some twist in it, then you just pull the roving out. This is drafting. You just thin it out. This is drafting. And with the Drop spindle you want to draft a little differently than you do with a regular spinning wheel. You keep your hands far enough apart so the fibers will slip. For this particular fiber it's about six inches but every fiber will be a little different. Then you do a little twist. When you're ready to wind it onto the spindle you lift this off over the top like that. And this is how you wind it on so that you get that nice center pull ball. You go over two and under one. Over two, under one. Over two, under one. Over two, under one. So once you have your spindle full, or as full as you want it to be, um, then you take it apart. This is something that you can only do with a Turkish spindle and it's, it's a wonderful thing because you can take it apart and create a little center pull ball that you can then use for plying. And this is how you do it. This stick pushes out and then you slide this out. pull right there attached to your leader which you will want to take off because you're going to want to do more spinning. So when you go to ply you take this one and this one and you ply the two together. 
make sure you've got two that are coming from the center, not from the outside, like this one and this one. If they come from the outside, you're going to run into tangly problems, so you want to avoid the outside. You want it to pull from the middle. You take your two ends. It doesn't do a little any harm here to put a little spit and spin on the end of this. It just helps the reader grab it. And then you overlap your reader. Don't forget that for plying you're going counterclockwise. There's no drafting here. You're just controlling how much twist, which basically controls how tightly you want it plied. Plying goes faster than spinning. And you wind it the same way over two, under one. Here, I'm gonna grab that from the bottom so you can see. Over two, under one, over two, under one, over two, under one. Do the same thing with a little loop at the top. Go counterclockwise. Woo! That was a mistake. Don't do that. So you're putting in the ply. Done plying, you will have a little center pull ball of yarn. And there's nothing wrong with that because that makes it much easier to knit with.